yeah yeah when I came home yesterday I actually sorry I actually left to to go do a job yesterday I I actually does fit like like I I see what animals I I does like injections for dogs and boomers and stuff like that so i actually went to see about a dog yesterday and couldn't carry her because the, the dog was aggressive so i didn't want nothing going right you know how things is so i left her with her cousin upstairs right i don't know what transpired within the timing that i left her when i came back she was kind of sobbing normally Knowing that this type of person here yeah, yeah, is miserable, sometimes she just cry for anything. I didn't really study it, right? So I ignored it, right? Last night she came, she mother came from work. She keep complaining that her teeth is hurting her, right? I don't know what she meant by her teeth is hurting right so i keep telling her because her mother keep having two takes so i keep telling her we keep telling her definitely yeah yeah don't call that in itself because if you get two takes as a little child you will you will you will want to to, to, to run right so apparently her teeth was already hurting well that is what I had to say, right? We went to sleep last night, but actually, this child loves snacks, yeah, yeah, so. This little girl here, she loves snacks, right? So, her mother bought a pack of snacks for, like, you know, the snacks is like about 20 in the pack, 20 different snacks in the pack, right? Actually, when she made it, mother came, she cried for the snacks. But after eating one pack of snacks, not even the whole pack, she stopped and I made a little joke with her and said, Yeah, yeah, I hide the snack, you know, if you are too thick, you can't eat snacks with too thick. And she was like, Yeah, alright, cool daddy. And I said, I see your son, and she mother actually take the bag and move it up to see what what would have be a reaction when we lift up the bag to go and hide the snacks and basically it was nothing so you know we just brush off that in knowing she showed me the signs all the time so we just brush it off right um last night we actually went to bed we dropped asleep and we didn't actually know what was going on transpiring with her right so she waked us up to go and pee and to use the bathroom and stuff like that and she keep crying 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 we, we sleep in the dark so we thought was just heavenly being miserable right um She, she got up a couple times and after that she actually given us a little piece of sleep like she sleep half an hour and you know, 20 minutes she up started crying so we actually trying to figure out what it is transpiring with Yaya woke up this morning and Yaya top lift swell I don't know what went on i don't know why it's well i don't know if it's really too thick she was game i don't know if she falls she nope. keeps saying the gate fall on her i don't know her accent are wrong nobody don't know what it is going on so actually we would give her the night out right we would give her the night i went i went to the pharmacy and bought certain pain meds for her right so we will actually give her the night to see if the lip would go down because to my to my sight 
I can't see so good. I'm blind a little bit, but Bruh. on my side, Holip was actually going down. Holip was bigger than that. Right? So, we give her the night to see if Holip will go down by time in the morning. If it don't go down by time in the morning, we'll have no other choice than to carry her Mount Hope General Hospital. And guys, to be very honest, I do not want to go there. I do not want to carry Yaya there because it has so much aroma spreading about this hospital and I don't want to fall victim to whatever that's happened in this hospital right we all know it have corona going wrong and I also don't want my daughter none of my family to get corona so you all watch the video to the end stay tuned and we'll let you all know exactly what it is going on with the eye amount right right guys so the next day we here this is the next day um let's say it's well so we look, we look into, um, carry her to the Mount Hope General Hospital. Right, so we'll be back. Right, Jay Aston. So we're back again. Finally, we show from the hospital. If you could watch her voice, her uh, uh, um, lip stay swollen. She's a part of the swollen. Alright, now, love. Right? Say, say good evening, Yaya Squad. Right, this is all her meds here that she has to take. Right guys and as I keep saying this thing this thing just pop up we didn't even know this was going on right we actually heard her saying that her feet hurting but to be honest her mother was getting to take also so we thought you know like she was mimicking her mother now in knowing she was really getting too thick and we were just passing it off like she was mimicking so when your children your little children talk to you when your little babies talk to you you need to take them seriously listen to them closely listen to what others say watch them closely because sometimes they don't know how to describe the, the, the pain that they're going through so they might just point they might say certain things that might sound funny in knowing that they're going through the same thing over and over right so guys as i say again i just put the meds on a bag because they're kind of coolish so they wouldn't wet the bed this is the meds here right for all who are watching we now came back from